Soldering to the back of your volume pot is excruciatingly painful and is a dumb way to ground all the wires in your guitar wiring. If you want to swap out pickups on a guitar, you look at the back of volume pots and there's multiple giant globs of hardened solder. Those solder parts are usually hard or not soldered very well, so it's difficult to heat them up and get the angle right in order to get the wires out of it. And then to put new wires onto it, it is even harder to warm it up and get the wires on there and then you gotta put new solder onto it and this sometimes it just goes everywhere or it just doesn't fuse with the solder that's already on there. And because you're using it as a common ground, you gotta wire every electrical component onto there so it can ground it properly. And it is so painful and annoying. If you're doing completely new wiring and you got a new volume pot, you have to scratch the back of it for the solder to even connect to it. And then you have to make multiple globs of big balls of solder onto there because it's gonna be really hard to get five, six, seven wires all onto one glob of solder. All the big pickup companies release diagrams that are still showing that you should do it this way. Here's one from DiMarzio. You got two, four, five, six globs of solder you got to put on the back of the volume pot to ground those components and then on the tone knob to ground all of those components there too. Look at Seymour Duncan, it's the same thing. They have one giant glob in the middle to ground two, four, five, six components and then on the tone knob you got two giant globs to ground other components. I get that this is how they would solder guitars back in the 1950s, but this is archaic. We're in 2025, isn't there a better way to do this by now? I've used all three of my brain cells and tested multiple products and figured out what works the best that makes it faster, easier, and it doesn't require as much soldering. Here, let me show you. Here's a guitar I just wired up and look at the back of the volume pot. No big globs of solder anywhere and the guitar is wired up correctly with a common ground and there's no hum at all. And here it is, the Vago lever nut. How does this thing make wiring grounds way easier, faster, and smarter? Before we get to that, let me introduce myself. I'm Yusuf Abdul Hussein. I'm a guitarist, musician, and a goofball. I make music. And if you want to help support me, check out some awesome guitar-focused music with amazing melodies and great songwriting. Check out my music. I'm going to link it down below. Listen to on Bandcamp. I'm an indie musician. You can pay whatever you want for the tracks. It helps support me. Helps me make more music, make more more useful videos for you guys. All right, how does this thing make grounding so much easier, faster, and it's way smarter? The simplest way to explain how this thing works is that all the wires that you put into this thing is gonna create a connection between them all. Let's zoom in on it. I'll show you how it works and how easy it is. Let's take a look at the lever nut up close. You've got the latch right here, easy to open up easy to close. Got a stripped wire right here, which I've stripped to the length that it says here on the side to open up the latch, put the stripped wire in, close down the latch. As long as the stripped wire is past the metal right here, everything on the inside will be conducting and the latch is tight. So I'm going to pull on this. It's not coming out. And for guitar wire, this hole is big enough for two, even three wires. So let me open up this latch, put this in here, close down the latch, and now we got two that are conducting. This is great for when you need to put the ground and the bare wire from the pickup into one slot, makes it easier. I've even put four wires into one and it holds them securely. This works great for ground wires because everything inside of this is gonna be conducting with each other. Then you just keep going for as many wires that you need to ground. Pop it in, close it down. Let's say you need to ground more than five components, which is they got five right here. You can even put multiple wires into one single lever nut or you can daisy chain. So let's say you got all these maxed out. You can go over here, put a wire in, latch it down, grab another lever nut, open it up here, pop this wire into that hole, close it down, and now it's daisy chain. All this stuff is going to be ground and you have four more additional lever nut holes to put wires into. My guitars are pretty simple, two humbuckers, one volume, and the things that you have to ground would be output jack, the pickup selector switch, I put the 
ground and bare wires from both the bridge and neck pickup into one single hole. Then we got the volume pot and we got the bridge ground. So all you'll need is a five lever nut to ground the whole guitar for two humbucker, one volume setup. When a diagram is showing this symbol, which means to send it to ground, put it into this thing. Now all of your electrical components will have a common ground. And if you switch out your pickups, all you gotta do is open up the one that's for the bridge and neck pickup and pull those out. And for the new one, put it in here. All the other grounds are gonna be in the other holes. So you don't have to change anything out. You don't have to resolder anything. You don't have to solder it from the humbuckers onto the back of the volume pot. Try these out and see how much better it is to do a common ground in guitar pickup wiring. I'm gonna have an affiliate link down below where I will make a certain percentage of the purchase. If you buy it using that affiliate link, it helps to support me. Once the wiring is done, you'll have this little thing that'll be jostling around inside of the cavity. What I do is I take a piece of tape, press it against the side of the body, and then press it down on the lever nut and that helps lock it down so it doesn't move around when you're playing. The wires are not gonna come out. This is really secure, but it's just some way to keep things locked down and to prevent maybe even rattling of this Vago not moving around. You can take it a step further too if you switch pickups often instead of soldering and resoldering every time to the pickup selector. You can use these Vago single connector ones. Pretend this is the pickup selector. Here's the common ground lever nut. Here's a pickup with the wires. You got hot, the coil splitting black and white, and then the ground and bare. You take the ground and bare, you put it into the common ground wing nut. Then you take a single one and you put it for the hot. And now you take another wire, put it on the other side, close it down. And then you're gonna wire this to where the hot is gonna go on the pickup selector. Then you got the two coils splitting. You take another single nut, put it into one side, close it down, get another wire, open it up, and wire that to the pickup selector. So now when you wanna switch the pickups, these are soldered down. You just remove these sides over here and the common ground over here. Bring in your new pickup, Put them into lever nuts and lock them down. You can also simplify the ground and bare by putting a single one on those, getting another wire, putting it in, and then wire that to the common ground. So it's not two wires going to it and it fits for two pickups. It's not gonna be four wires, it'll just be two wires if you use the same hole. And again, whenever you just wanna switch out the pickups, just take it off of this side, the other parts are already locked into the common ground and these ones are already soldered into the pickup selector. Just to make it clear, it'll be three. One for the hot wire, one for the coil split, and one to put the ground and bear into. You ignore what the wiring diagram is showing to put the ground to and you just use this guy as the common ground. This way you only need to solder once and never again if you keep the same pickup configuration. So if you switch pickups often, then I suggest that you get these. I don't do it that often, so I find it actually faster just to solder the wires from the pickup onto the pickup selector. I'll have an affiliate link down below for this too. I will make a little bit of a commission if you buy it. Helps to support me if you wanna buy it with my link. To summarize, this is just a smarter, better, faster way to wire all your common grounds instead of just doing those giant globs of solder that are hard on the back of the volume pot. Try it out and see if you like it. I'm not now wiring all of my guitars using this method and I love it. And hey, if you got any suggestions to make guitar wiring faster and easier, put it down there in the comments. Let me know what you think about this idea. If you try it out, go ahead and comment and let me know if you did. I want to hear your awesome stories and I hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching.